Hello there and welcome to Maths uh, A-Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question one, a differentiation from first principles question. Prove from first principles that the derivative of 5x cubed is 15x squared. So as soon as I see questions with uh, differentiation of first principles, I get up the formula booklet and find the page that corresponds to differentiation from first principles. So here we've got the limit from h tends towards zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So what I need to do here is this 5x cubed is what we're going to use as our f of x. And what f of x plus h is, is it's going to be 5 bracket x plus h all cubed. So I'm going to eventually need to expand this cubic, but we'll start with plugging this straight into the formula. So it's going to be f dash x of the limit as h tends towards 0 of uh, f of x plus h. So that's going to be this 5 bracket x plus h cubed minus 5x cubed. That's just your standard f of x, and we divide that through by h. So what we've got to do now is simplify our limit here. Eventually, some bits will cancel out, and we'll have to divide through by h as well. So carrying on with that limit sign, so the limit as h tends towards 0, and we're going to expand this bracket here. So x plus h cubed, so let's think about what that could be. We could either use the uh, binomial uh, expansion formula or we could just expand a triple bracket. So expanding the triple bracket we'll get x squared plus 2xh add h squared and times in that by the third bracket x plus h we'll get x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed when you all simplify it back together. So this is going to be five times all of this x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed take away 5x cubed all over h. Okay, let's now expand the bracket with that 5, and then in the next line we can think about simplifying something. So 5x cubed plus 15x squared h plus 15xh squared plus 5h cubed minus 5x cubed all over h. OK, so let's see what we can cancel down now. So we have uh, the limit as h tends towards 0. We've got 5x cubed and a minus 5x cubed. Those two cancel out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide every term here by h. So this is going to be 15x squared. The h's cancel out there to there. The next term is going to be 15x h. We've got a h squared and a h so one of those will cancel out. And then the next term here is going to be 5h squared from the h cubed and the h cancelling out. So now I'm going to involve the limit thing here. This has just been lingering at the front here for a little while. So what I'm going to do now is incorporate this into the uh, expression. So 15x squared as h tends towards 0. Well, that doesn't involve h, so that's still 15x squared. Uh, as h tends towards 0, this uh, expression here will um, get closer towards 0. No matter what value x is, as h tends towards 0, that will become a 0. And 5h uh, squared, as h tends towards 0, that will um, eliminate the h there as well. So it would be 15x squared plus 0 plus 0. So we will therefore be left with 15x squared and uh, as h tends towards 0. So the answer there, as we, um, as we expected, 15x squared. Okay, great, four marks.